is she moving in? No, I didn't ask her to move in. No, my grandma is gonna be pissed if she comes home and finds all your stupid crap on her counters. No, no, stop it, stop it. So, I noticed that you threw a bunch of stuff on my bathroom counter. I don't have a bathroom. As you can probably tell by the crap smeared everywhere. What's up guys, welcome to Bro World, a game that I can only describe as the spiritual successor to one of my favorite Flash game franchises ever, the Douchebag Games. So much so that it has its own Douchebag theme song. Douche, douche, douchebag. Ew, douchebag. Wonderful. Now I know our bro kind of looks like a giant toddler with Kleenex boxes for feet, but you will respect him nonetheless, for he is a Brosidon, king of the Brosian. No? Wishful thinking? Okay, uh, how about we go with the professor? <laughs> Teaching class and getting ass. Come on, man, look at you. You really think you're gonna get Jennifer with that attitude? What do you mean? You need more style, because right now you got no style. Yeah, no style, man. I got my tidy whitey onesie. You see this? This is style, bro. Real freaking style. And muscles. Okay, and what about those glasses? Leave those glasses alone, man. You wanna <laughs> get Jennifer, right? Yeah, badly, bro. So let's focus on her. Okay. If you do what I do, You'll be just like me, and doing the same stuff I was doing yesterday. What were you doing yesterday? Getting on with Jennifer, bro. Oh, come on! I had dibs on her first. <laughs> you weren't ready. What the hell, man? Hey, shh, shh, check, check it out. Hey, Cindy, Mindy, what you doing later? <laughs> See you around, boys. See? You need to man up to get ladies down. Muscles. But you live in grandma's house, dude. Listen, little bro. Tomorrow, the mall, the training begins. I have been waiting years for another game like this, and it's already vastly exceeded my expectations. Uh, professor? Your place looks a little bit less like a classroom and a little bit more like a crack den. <laughs> like you've got the Jennifer merch, that's a good start. But the dookie smeared couch, and the depressing Christmas tree, and the dramatic lack of muscles are probably all gonna set you back. Please tell me whatever's vibrating right now is not inside your butt. Oh, it's your phone. <laughs> Hi, Professor. My old body is getting cold, so I'll be in Florida for the rest of the season. I'm leaving you the house. There's some food in the refrigerator. Love you, Triple X. Grandma, I told you, my name isn't Triple X anymore. It's Professor. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. She's sweet. <laughs> wow, she did not leave me much, did she? Okay, well, how about we go over here and finally take down the Christmas tree? Is that not what it was telling you to do? We're just gonna stand at it in a very intimidating way and hope that it takes itself down. Our current objective is to get ready to go. Where we're going exactly, I have no sweet clue, but I'm guessing it's gonna start with us eating some of grandma's food. Oh, she left us a recipe for protein shakes. Of course she did. <laughs> Grandma was all about getting swole. You just gotta mix a little milk and some eggs, and then before you know it, You've got a good slurry of protein, and I guess we should probably put on clothes too, right? We're gonna go outside, we don't wanna look like a, a giant toddler. Yeah, we got some pants, we've got shoes. They said that I didn't have any style. What are they talking about? Would somebody with no style have a piss-soaked cot? Next up, we need to meet Joe. Which one was Joe again? Was he the one that was balls deep in Jennifer, or, or the one with the muscles and the Cyclops visor, Jesus. There's an entire bro world. Of course there is. <laughs> All right then, I guess we're going to the shopping center. I'd imagine these guys should stand out like a couple of sore thumbs among a sea of giant asses, okay? 
<laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Hey, Joe. I'm here. Man, your t-shirt is so ugly. Well, we will get to that later. Today, we're here to get you some muscles. Nice, dude. I want to be as ripped as Mike. Yeah, at least you can try. <laughs> get to the store and buy your first equipment set. Oh. Okay, we're going to head over to the mass store and buy ourselves some dumbbells. Now we're getting somewhere uh, or not we can't afford dumbbells they cost 250 dollars we can afford soup am i missing something here uh okay they deliver that's nice but <laughs> joe care to explain i definitely feel like i'm missing something good is it your gear will be shipped to your crib, so just go wait for it, bro. Thank you so much, Joe. I'm gonna go home right now and get those chunky chicken noodle gains, I guess. <laughs> Why is everything I own covered in feces? I, I, I don't understand. Maybe that's why women hate you. <laughs> Except for Grandma. Grandma apparently needs help. What? Did you fall? You're supposed to call life alert, not me. Hi, grandson. I was wondering if you could do some errands for me. Of course, grandma. It's not like I've got anything else to do. <laughs> like, have a seizure? Jesus Christ. Grandma's errands? For each tap, you get two dollars. Oh. Okay, hold on. Playing games on an emulator can sometimes be a disadvantage, except for when they give you a clicker mini game, in which case you can abuse the living crap out of it with an auto clicker. No, 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 auto clicker doesn't work. No, they thought ahead. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. All right, we're at $106 the fair way. I guess I can't exploit grandma. I think when we were out doing errands for grandma, the delivery people showed up with our soup and just left it on the floor in the kitchen. <laughs> I would be concerned with the fact that we don't have a lock on our front door, but honestly, what is anybody gonna steal? I I'd be amazed if anybody even touches something in this house. What are you doing right now? Oh my God, are you kidding me? You're gonna use the soup cans as dumbbells? Great, we're gonna get ripped. <laughs> There's no way we're gonna get pipes this way. How weak are you? He's now picked up and put down the soup cans at least a dozen times, which apparently means he's ready to go meet girls. I'm just hoping we don't have to bring them back here. <laughs> that would be a complete disaster. A whole new meaning to the word shit show. And apparently we're going back to the shopping center because that's where everybody is today. I do not think we're ready for this. Maybe we should go talk to Joe first. Just see what he has to say. Yo, professor. <laughs> Sup, Joe? I can't feel my arms anymore. No pain, no gain, bro. You see that chick? Show me what you got. Oh, that one. Okay. Yeah, he, he points out the, the nicer ladies. Hiya, babe. Professor is the man you need. I ain't a strong man to protect me. Oh. Uh -uh. Level one? Mmm, you're my type. Come on, girl. You know I'm level one. I'm curling all the cans, slice objects. Oh, oh, what? No, I wasn't ready. Wait, what do you mean slice objects? Is she moving in? No, I didn't ask her to move in. No, my grandma is going to be pissed if she comes home and finds all your stupid crap on her counters. No, no, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> what is happening? So, I noticed that you threw a bunch of stuff on my bathroom counter. I don't have a bathroom, as you can probably tell by the crap smeared everywhere. Did I catch your name by any chance? Can I interact with you? I think you might be furniture now. Okay, uh, we're just gonna go meet more girls, I guess? Should should we get back to the cans? Maybe maybe we can hit the cans a little bit more. <laughs> I already love this so much. I like to consider myself a bit of a douchebag game connoisseur. And if we just met a girl who wants a level one douchebag, then we probably now need to be a level two or a level three douchebag. And we might be a little bit hungry. 
We make quite a bit of money off grandma, so I'd say we can afford to buy some eggs, mix it up, drink it down, good to go. I'm assuming that the missus with the mouth over her head must be Jennifer? Because we've got another target again, and it's not her. But she's been here this entire time. Maybe we can try talking to her? Oh, we're not douchey enough. Hi, Jennifer. I'm Professor, and leave me alone. Now is not the time to flex, idiot. How about we go talk to you? Hiya, babe. Professor is the man you need. Last time. This shirt is to die for. Oh, hell no. What? Meet the chick standards. Oh, she only dates people with red shirts. Very high standards in this mall. <laughs> Joe, where do I buy a red shirt? I don't know what happened, man. You can't approach girls dressed like that. As I told you, you need style. Go get some swag, bro. You can't wear a white shirt when everything you own is literally soiled with crap. <laughs> What can we get here? A top and a $10 red top. Yeah, you know what? Grandma and I can afford that. We shouldn't be saying that kind of stuff out loud. That's going to get us in trouble. Okay, let's go talk to her again. I think we're ready. We, we got the shirt. Whoa, baby, my name is Professor. I love this style of shirt. Yeah, you're wearing the same shirt, aren't you? Not many pants. Uh, you're my type. Oh, yeah, baby. There's somebody back at my house, but I guess you can- Oh, I guess you can come with! But nothing goes on this bathroom counter. I, I'm not sure whose bathroom counter this is, but I'm going to cut up all of your stuff with my mind. I don't know what's happening. I think somebody's phoning me right now. Ooh, we got new stuff. A, a whole bunch of new stuff. And none of it is covered in poop or Christmas ornaments. Wonderful! I'll take it! And somebody is calling me right now. Okay. Did we get rid of... Okay, we, we got rid of the other lady and replaced her with you. I see how it works now. Uh, what does Grandma want? Oh, you're not Grandma. All right, bro. Here are the final tips before you fly on your own. Keep flirting with new girls, but don't lose any mini games, or else jealous girls will block your next flirt attempt. I'll try to remember that, Joe. Don't forget your objectives, and when you're out of self-esteem, buy stuff for your crib. Good luck, mini dude. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. You know what? He may be a douchebag, but he's a douchebag with a heart of gold. Listen, I know we really bonded over the whole red shirt thing, but I, I gotta go run errands for my grandma. So could you maybe leave? Did that actually just work? Where did she go? Was she absorbed by the piss cot? Uh, either way, I didn't really need to get rid of her, did I? As long as she didn't touch the soup or the eggs, it would have been fine. The only two things worth anything in the house. Okay, let's see if we can earn ourselves a little bit of money. Don't worry, Grandma. I'm gonna work my way up to mowing yards in no time. Come on. There we go. $178. That's what the two fingers gets you. One more errand trip and we should be good to go. Watch an ad to do an extra hour and get bonus pay? I mean, sure. Excuse me, miss, what am I gonna have to buy to impress you? Whoa, baby, my name is Professor. I love big biceps. How big, level one big? Well, that was easy. I'm three times the man that you need. <laughs> level up? Tap the wallet and bills. Uh, oh, 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 okay, okay, no, 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 stay away from my money. No, 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 she's trying to rob me blind. I knew I was getting it way too easy. No, no, I need this. My grandmother is going to kill me. Is the heart breaking a bad thing or a good thing? I still don't understand. Well, she's here and we got more stuff. I mean, it's a TV that isn't the size of a postage stamp, and it's not on a cardboard box. And, uh, rabbit heads. Okay. Very good. Oh, we can go do more errands. Lovely. And I think my grandma's calling. Can you just... I don't want her knowing that I have friends over. Oh, never mind. It's Cyclops. Sup, dude? Jennifer is at the beach. Get your ass over here ASAP. Thanks, Mike. On my way. There's a beach. I, I gotta go do errands first. God damn it. 
Jennifer in a bikini is awful tempting right about now, but if I can manage to buy enough baguettes and milk for my grandmother, then I should be able to start mowing lawns. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> mowing the lawn. Ooh, $4 for each tap. You see, that's a good investment. We just doubled our earning potential and I get to watch another ad. Now, Professor, you're well aware that we can't just rush down to the beach. You gotta get your best beach bod ready. You gotta be lifting those cans. There we go, level four. No, Grandma, I don't have time to mow the lawn right now. Or do I? No, I do. Apparently I do. Okay, well then I guess we're just gonna mow real quick. There we go. Just. Mowing for hours, mowing the day away. I'm sure the whole beach crowd will wait up for me because I'm just so popular. $356. And oh good, we can shovel poop if we can continue this and another ad. I, I don't need to watch the ads, that's the thing. I don't have to, but for you guys, I'll, I'll do it. It's probably a good thing that I'm stockpiling all this money because apparently Blue Wolf is the code name that I've given to my self-esteem. Pretty douchebaggy thing to do. Flirting requires self-esteem. Buy stuff at the mall for your crib to gain more self-esteem. Shopping is the best remedy. So we're gonna have to go buy some crap. If I was an unsoiled piece of furniture, I would probably be in the douche depot, right? We might be able to make our way in there. Uh, excuse me? Oh, what is, are you fighting me right now? What? Okay, no, that's that's fine. We, we can win a fight. It's gonna toughen us up. It's gonna make us look like an alpha male. There we go. Oh, this is a douchebag. You see, it's professor versus douchebag and you keep what you kill. I'm the douchebag now. I just got a 50% off coupon from his corpse. 50% off any item. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but my self-esteem is doing great. <laughs> like we've gone from living in a crack den to a mascot crack den. <laughs> now that that's out of the way, we've got 26 blue wolves. How about we get to the beach and see if we can flirt with Jennifer just once this episode. Hi Jennifer, I'm Professor and leave me alone. That went about as well as we had expected. Only a real douchebag will be noticed by Jennifer. Great, that's just great. All right, Cyclops, why did you send me in to fail for a second time? I already tried that. <laughs> Crap, better luck next time. All right, you know what? You're not a very good friend. I'm gonna go back to my jalopy now and probably go hang out with my grandmother. No, I'm gonna go mow her lawn, of course. Of course I am. And you know what? I'm gonna do a damn good job at it because Cyclops, the difference between you and I is that you hang out on the beach with women and I am hopefully gonna shovel poop. Oh yeah, that's right, new job. Thank you, thank you. I'm now a, a dog poop shoveler for $6 a tap. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Bro World, guys. It's like I said, I've been waiting for another game like this for a very long time. I absolutely love them. It is exactly what I would have expected in another douchebag game. It's not made by the same developers. I don't wanna give that impression, but it's the same thing. It's got that flash game appeal. It's got the stupid proportions to people. It's got the terrible intent behind the characters. <laughs> so I want to make this into a series. If you guys want to see more, as always, be sure to leave a like in this video, let me know, and we'll return to hopefully impress Jennifer or at the very least lift some soup. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.